I went from a poor Ukrainian immigrant to becoming a millionaire by the age of 28. And it wasn't because I meditated or I took cold showers every morning. It wasn't because I was reading one book a week or even one book a day. The whole 2,000 new books that I bought. In fact, it wasn't anything that you'll find in videos from gurus here on YouTube. The reason I became a millionaire so quickly boiled down to few smart purchases that I have made in my 20s that pretty much set me up for life. And if I could go back to the time when I was 20 or 21 years old, this is the number one video that I would make myself watch. And if I apply this information, I'd probably be a billionaire by now. So here are the seven best purchases you can possibly make in your 20s. Let's get it started. Purchase number one, masterminds, communities, and mentorships. This is literally number one thing that you can buy that will accelerate your success. For me, it was Facebook ads. I hired the best people. I joined the best communities, the best masterminds to learn about Facebook ads. And that literally accelerated my success like 10 times because I was learning from the best and I was avoiding a lot of the mistakes that I would otherwise would have done. So even right now, I'm spending $150,000, $200,000 per year on education masterminds to have access to the information that is only present in certain circles. Because if you want specialized knowledge on different subjects, it's most likely not on YouTube. It's only shared in small circles of people that are like-minded and that are practitioners in a certain field. So if I want to scale my e-commerce business, for example, I'm in circles with other e-commerce people that are practitioners that are testing different strategies, different tactics, and I'm learning from them directly. And this is literally number one shortcut for anyone who wants to succeed in life. Purchase number two that will change your life. This is something that you buy continuously. This is not something that you buy just once. This is food. Quality of food determines your health, right? If you eat bad food if you eat low quality food then your health long term will suffer because a lot of the low quality food is grown with pesticides and in order to keep their costs low they have to use chemicals to accelerate the growth of the plants or growth of the animals those things literally pack with different chemicals that impact your body on different levels there's a big spike right now in cancer rates because of the quality of the food is decreasing over time because the manufacturing is getting more commercialized so the best thing you can do to yourself in your 20s once you have more disposable income is going to the better restaurants, buying better foods. I'm in the United States right now and I'm buying food only in Whole Foods. I'm not buying like food in Walmart. Is it all of the food in Whole Foods like absolutely clean and there is no chemicals? Probably not. But at least you're maximizing your chances of getting good quality food. So if you feel good, if your mind is clear, you can produce better creative ideas. So make sure you're buying food that is actually good. Once you start making more money, that will set you up for life. Next purchase you can make in your 20s is supplements. I I like to keep it simple. So there is a company called Athletic Greens. I take these supplements for the last like two years. I love it. It's simple. It gives you all of the nutrients. It gives you all of the minerals. It gives you all of the major vitamins that you have to take on a day-to-day -day basis. You feel good. Now you have better thoughts. Now you can focus on certain tasks that you want to do. Pretty much you want to take some multivitamins that will give you all of the major nutrients that will make sure your body, your bones, your mind is functioning properly and it can function at a full capacity. You can do the blood work and actually see which nutrients you your body needs so then you can fill those gaps purchase number four is work equipment things you actually like and enjoy working with buy yourself a good phone this is one one million dollar business in here you can build just from your iphone if you apply it properly most people look at their phones from the wrong perspective they look at it as consumers most people sit on tiktok all day long right just watching videos scrolling videos scrolling videos getting motivated getting motivated if you want to succeed with your business or with your life you have to look at things as a producer not as a consumer. So with your phone, instead of looking at TikToks, you can literally sell almost any physical product using your phone creating TikToks. In our program, Brand Builders Academy, we're literally breaking down step by step how people can do it and people scaling their businesses to like 30, 50K per month just by doing this fully organically. This is $4,000 computer. This is $1,000 phone. So literally for like four or $5,000, you can have the whole like equipment that you will need to build a successful business. And as I'm looking at everything as a producer not as a consumer those purchases literally paying for themselves like in few days because if i'm producing one good piece of content for one of my businesses using this equipment i can produce a lot more money than they cost me so this is one of the best investments you can find next on the list is where you live your apartment and your house your overall environment is one of the biggest factors that determines how much you produce or how much money you make every single month until the age of like 24 i lived in ukraine in ukraine the environment is not very good to make money my rent was $200 and I was making $100 as a cookie salesman. So that forced me to sell things on the internet. I literally explored eBay, Amazon, all of these other opportunities.
opportunities. So at that point of time, I was making a few hundred dollars a month and that was just enough for me to get by just to survive with my family. So I decided to move from Ukraine to Poland. Poland is in a better situation economically and it's easier to establish a business and run a business. Initially, I didn't have any skills. I didn't know English. So I had to work on a factory for $2 per hour, just saving money, saving money, saving money. So I could afford to invest in my education. I could get better with my skills so I could have something to bring to the marketplace that marketplace would pay me for. Think about all of the Italian Americans, people who came from Italy in, in the beginning of 20th century. They had no money. They had no skills. They had no opportunities. They build them up right now to a very strong community. A lot of these people are very successful. There is a generation of wealth that is being created by people who come to a new country with no money, with no opportunities, but they're willing to learn and they're willing to adapt to a new environment. When we lived in Poland with my wife, we felt like we were missing out, right? We felt like everything is happening in the United States. All of the changes in the industry, right? We're already running e-commerce business. We're making like a few million dollars a year. We're doing okay, right? Relatively to all of the people that live in Poland, we were feeling like kings. So we decided to move to the United States. And we were aware that moving from Europe to Miami, one of the most expensive cities right now in the United States is expensive. And that challenged me. It forced me to adapt, right? So put yourself in the environment that forces you to adapt to become better. Because those people that successful, they put themselves in the environment that literally forced them to perform at a different level than you. It's no coincidence that most billionaires are located in London, in New York, in Los Angeles, in Shanghai, because that's where the opportunity is. And if you put yourself in that environment, you'll figure it out. You'll find the opportunities, you'll find the people and you will force yourself to be successful. Next purchase you have to make is books. Now, I know there's a meme of Ty Lopez at the beginning of this video, but books are literally one of the best things you can buy, especially if you cannot afford mentorships or you cannot afford masterminds, but not the bullshit books like Sink and Grow Rich and stuff like that. You wanna buy books that are underground, books like How to Get Rich. This book is from the founder of Maxim Magazine, and it's amazing because it uncovers literally every limiting belief that people have when they're trying to get Get rich. For example, one of the quotes in this book is, if you care about what your neighbors think of you, you will never get rich. In order to get rich, you literally have to discard like everything that people think of you. If people think your decisions are stupid, you have to disregard, you have to cut those people from your life or you have to explain them, them that you're making your own decisions and if they're, even if these, these are bad decisions, you're fully accountable for them and you will be responsible for all of the outcomes that come from that. Next book that I'd recommend, it's Often Wrong, Never in Doubt, is by Donnie Deutsch. One of the principles in this book is, you have to believe that you are the one to do it. The people that are actually successful or who will become successful they don't think, oh, there's this guy, he's like, he's a god, like, let's put him on a pedestal. Those people think, why not me? I'll put the work in, I'll do whatever it takes, and I'll be on that spot. So anytime you see someone successful on YouTube, don't think, oh, this guy is so smart, he's so magical. No, think, one day I'll take over this guy. I'll be even more successful than this person. Another book that I recommend is called Breakthrough Advertising. This is an amazing book for anyone who markets or who's uh, who's doing any type of advertising because it will give you the general framework that you can apply any traffic source. For example, the weight loss market, it changes over time. Now there's so many different supplements. There's so many ways to resolve the weight loss problem. You have to be very sophisticated and you have to also pick up the niche. You can't just go broad and like, hey, we'll help you to lose weight. No, you have to niche down on a specific market segment. Maybe it's women, maybe it's men. You have to evaluate every market that you're going in from a high level perspective. How many sellers, how many people have been selling exactly the same product or the same market? Or how many people have tried to solve this problem and how exactly did they do that? I highly recommend these books. I recommend to just reading the same books again and again and again instead of just you know, buying like hundreds of books and not reading them at all, just buy a few books that are very important, that are very profound and just read them again and again and again, because it's not in the reading of the book that you're getting the benefit from it, but it's an actual application of the book that you're getting the benefit from it. The last purchase that I recommend calls with experts. There are platforms like clarity.fm or use intro where you can buy calls with experts on different topics, whether it's business, whether it's marketing, whether it's health, it doesn't matter 
what topic you want to explore, you can buy a call with an expert that will give you the shortcut to get the outcome that you want. So maybe you don't want to go through the mentorship process. Maybe you don't want to go through the mastermind process. Maybe you, maybe you don't want to commit for a specific amount of time or specific amount of effort, but maybe you have specific questions that you want to cover. So in one 60 minute call, you can literally learn a lot of insights about the industry that otherwise would take you hours and hours and hours to learn. Maybe it would take you days or even weeks to learn the same insights that you can learn from the expert directly from one phone call. So guys, these are the seven best purchases you can possibly make in your 20s that will set you up for life. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have any feedback for me or if you have any other suggestions or any other purchases that can make. Hit a like on this video, guys, so it shows up to more people. We can impact and help more people. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.